previously on For the Love of Ray J. Hailing from the ATL stacks. Not doing it. My head really wasn't in the game. My whole head is really with my family. Yo, Stax's dad got sick, and then she went home. Good riddance to Stax, no matter what's happening, because she's just such an evil bitch. Oh, my God! Pay attention to me! And then Lil' Hood, she went crazy. Lil' Hood said this, Lil' Hood said that. I think you got lost in your, in your thoughts. So what you talking about? Obviously, my brain is up. Who the cares? Nobody wants to admit that they were all talking about it. Do you get it now? Don't portray me like I'm some fake bitch. Don't do that. I cannot live in the house with all this anymore. Your bags are packed. It speaks for itself. The six girls left. I just want to know one thing. What the hell was Lil Hood talking about? <laughs> My name is Ray J. Singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. Elimination. There's only six girls left, so I'm not worried. I'm feeling really confident and really good about my relationship with Ray. All right, I'm bored. The girls in this house are completely different from me. I'm realizing I need to step it up if I want to stay in this house. And I think I know what to do. <laughs> So I'm sitting here watching these girls, and Cocktail has always looked a little familiar. And I think she was on a different reality show. This is the perfect opportunity for me to rat Cocktail out and make sure she leaves this house. Cocktail, I think I shower in the back girls club. Unique is the only girl I trust in the house. So I think together we can make a plan and get Cocktail's ass out of here. What if she just look like the girl? Whatever, if he asks her, she can't lie, you know? You know, this is a game, and I'm totally not here for Kashmir. I'm here for Ray. And if I need to use her like some little puppet to get the girls out of this house, I will do it. Girls! Ray has an announcement for you guys. How y'all doing today? Y'all feeling good? All right, now I know this whole time I've been showing y'all what I like to do. Well, I want to see what y'all like to do, what y'all interests are. You know? This is the time for the girls to really step it up. So I wanted to flip it a little bit this time. Each girl has 30 minutes to spend with me to showcase what they like to do, what they're all about, anything they felt like they could connect with me and what their talents were. I wanted to see it. Whoever impresses me the most in a 30 minute time span will win a date with me tomorrow. Let's make it work. Write down everything you need. Everything is going so fast in my head. I'm like, I have to be creative. Like, I want to win. So think winner. Winner mode? Yeah, winner mode. Think winner mode. I'm getting kind of nervous because I'm, I'm not really passionate about anything. Not like the other girls. I'm passionate about having a couple drinks. That's it. <laughs> I will do whatever it takes to get what I want. I wouldn't say basketball is a huge passion of mine, but what guy doesn't like basketball? Like, does she really like to play basketball? I don't know. She just likes whatever he likes, right. Yeah. I gave Cocktail her 30 minutes first. I know you ain't thinking that you about to play me in some b-ball and beat me. I thought we would play a game of love. It's like horse, but we're playing out love and the winner gets to choose the loser's um, item of clothing to take off. So, oh, it's, yeah? like, so it's like strip basketball. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> what, you think I ain't gonna make it? Ah! I usually make that but the win. <laughs> All right, what you want me to take off, my shorts? 
Take your jersey off. All right. Wow. I want you to take off your shirt, you know what I'm saying? Uh. She took off some of her clothes. She took off more of her clothes. Yeah. I had a good time, but it didn't help me learn a lot more about her. Time is up. Feisty, you look hot. OK. <laughs> so next, I go see Feisty. Are you working out? I need to work out. And I need my man to be fit, too. All you right, want to well, sweat with me? Yes. All of the girls have, like, a talent. But mine is just, like, working out. <laughs> <laughs> my best physical feature is my boobs and my smile. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of it here. <laughs> Yo, want you? We need more trainers like this. Who wouldn't want to do sit-ups and there's breasts waiting for you at the top? <laughs> Money will spend. Go, go. You know what, Feisty's a cool chick, but I want to know if she's more than just a party girl. Because I really think that Feisty's a cool person. You know what, there's still a lot about her that I want to get to know. Like, I'm not looking to, like, get married. You know, like, not right now, but, like, I do want a boyfriend. I feel like Ray is into me physically, but at this point, I don't know what he's feeling or what he wants. You never been two girls, no. one guy? No. Never? Never. Attempted, but never happened. What happened? The girl ended up getting sick. She started throwing up, and then it never happened. Ah, oh, bummer. Hello. <laughs> Sorry to break you love words up. What's up, girl? This is the first, like, one-on-one -on -one time I get with Ray. I want there to be more of a connection, because it's really hard to get to know someone when you're feeling shy and that you can't really be yourself around them. I never thought this would be, like, your passion, me. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's like, Modeling's my passion. Oh, oh. So you're gonna be the photographer, okay. and you get to like direct me and. Oh, I get know. to be the photographer. Yeah. You put my director's hat on. Yeah, that's hot. Boom! Baby girl looking good. She hot. Mm mm mm. Race car. I like driving anything. Beep, beep. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> now, you know every photographer gets to usually sleep with his clients. Oh, really? Pretty much. I mean, that's the... Not always. Not okay. Me. Oh, my bad. I feel like Cashmere's under a lot of pressure, and I don't know, with all the rest of the girls in the house, can she stand the heat? These other girls around really want this. I need to know, does she really want it, too? Because right now is the time for her to really step up. How are you? <laughs> so, Ray definitely needs to know that Cocktail's been on a reality show. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to show Ray that I'm here for him and that I can play this game. <laughs> oh boy. So what do you like about this song? I can't do it. I don't feel comfortable snitching on Cocktail right now till I know for sure she was on that reality show. Because I don't want to risk looking like a liar to Ray. Anything you want to ask me? Not really. I mean, I want to get to know you. I can be shy. Like, I like, I can be shy. And you can, you know, I like yeah. you, so I can be shy at times, but I don't, I don't know. I know I'm on the bottom of the list, but. There's no bottom. you high up there. There's other girls competing, so it's like, because I know like a lot of these girls aren't really here for you. You my kind of woman, though. I need okay, you to yeah. take the crown. Just take I need you to take the crown, win me over. Even though I can be really shy at times, at this point, I really want to stay in the house and get to know Ray. So I definitely need to do something to stay in this competition. Time is ticking. Coming up next. What <laughs> Stax told her, spill the dirt. She had already been on reality show. And later. When should I tell him? Tonight, no. bring it out of the dinner table. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm so sick of Cocktail walking around here like she does nothing wrong. Tonight, her ass is about to get exposed in front of everybody. This is the time for the girls to really step it up. I wanted to give the girls an opportunity to showcase their passions and kind of get to know them for who they are. So next, I go see Danger. 
because we connecting a little bit. All right, Jerry. Okay, let me go. <laughs> I really want to win this challenge. I want to win a solo date with Ray. I'm tired of sharing him all the time. We're going to help each other paint blindfolded. For real? I'm with it. Sounds sexy. Any good friendship or partnership or marriage or anything comes with trust. Green and red, you know what I mean? You can't beat those colors. It's like Christmas. This is like one of the best paintings in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna help you through this, you know that, right? Yeah. This paint is sexual. This paint is hot, it's steamy. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So while she's smacking the paint on the board, I'm thinking about smacking that. I thought that her passions for art were really shown. And I like being an artist as well, you know? I don't paint, but you know, I paint musical pictures. Thumbs up. Hey, baby. Hey, What's going on? Chardonnay. I'm gonna leave you too to get busy. <laughs> right now, I'm not really feeling like me and Ray have the strongest connection in the house. <laughs> See y'all in a minute. <laughs> I need to step my game up, and this is my opportunity. Cool. <laughs> Next, I got Chardonnay. I like to cook, you know? So since my, you know, my mom died, you know what I'm saying? I just took on the, the tradition of cooking. She wanted to spread that love and trickle it down the family. And I respect her for that. What you cooking? We're about to fix some spaghetti okay. together. Every woman knows that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I have me in the kitchen just pouring beer in there. <laughs> Patron in here. <laughs> Goose in the meat. Wait till we drain the water off first, baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we got some bomb ass meat now. Oh. You so silly. Young Ray Jizzle is in the kizzle. I know. Make us forget his little shot in there. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, a woman that cooks for me is a big thing but it really wasn't nothing to it. It was kind of like just regular spaghetti, but cool, whatever. I'm starving. Ah. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Trying to play the guitar. <laughs> so next I go see Unique, and she wants to play music and write songs. I got a little notepad uh, because, you know, you like the brainstorm, I like the brainstorm. Uh, At this point, I am nervous because I have had some false starts in the past with Ray, and I really want to stand out in this challenge. I know Ray loves music, and I am in it to win it. You make me feel so good. So good inside. You make me feel so You make good. me feel so good inside. This is my passion, music, and she loves music as well. So I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I'm liking you so much. You are? Oh. But I've never had to like compete, yeah. you know? And I don't mind. I really don't, you know? I enjoy being around you. Oh yeah, me and Ray are totally connecting right now. This is the one moment I'm really feeling him and the vibe is there. So yeah, you gonna you gonna you gonna um I'm gonna step it up for you. This changed a couple things for me. I was still having doubts, but now I really feel good about Unique and what she's done today. Oh. It's definitely time to get rid of the other girls. I love my one-on-one -on -one with you. <laughs> Hi, girl. What's going on? Miss you, girl. God, no. Are you home? Yeah, I'm home. Did y'all tell him about, um, cocktail? Not yet, I'm about to tell him tonight. I wanted to talk to you more about mm -hmm. it, though. So not only did I find out Cocktail was officially on another reality show, she was on a bad girl's club. Right. Her role in the show was to be a gold digger and looking for a guy to take care of her. She said that she didn't want to work. She wanted to be taken care of. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to expose Cocktail's past tonight, and there's no way she's gonna be able to hide. I'm gonna bring up tonight for sure. Coming up next. We should play I've Hi. never. I have never kissed a girl. I never been on another <laughs> reality TV show. 
She may have dodged Feisty's question, but I'm not letting this bitch get away with anything. And later. Would you prefer a woman who comes in more on the conservative side and then gradually opens up and can get wild? Or a girl who's like, oh, take me now. You're supposed to be my friend and you're seeing this right in front of me? thinking, okay, who is he gonna pick? Who is he gonna pick, you know, for the solo date? Y'all all showed me things that inspired y'all, some of y'all passions. I had a good time with all y'all. <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty confident that he will pick me for the date. Everybody was so good. I know I was supposed to pick somebody tonight to go on a date with me tomorrow, but I'm confused. Like, I don't know what to do. So let's just forget about the solo date right now. We'll talk about that later. All y'all get dressed. Let's all go out and have some fun tonight together. <laughs> right now. Okay, hello, Ray. Our date was so bomb. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all get dressed, ladies. Okay, baby. I feel like there's a lot of tension in the house right now. And all of us going to dinner with Ray tonight, I feel like some stuff is going to be said. When should I tell him? Tonight, no. I said, all right, why am I going to dress in front of everybody? Like, bring it out of the dinner table. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm so sick of Cocktail walking around here like she does nothing wrong. Tonight, her ass is about to get exposed in front of everybody. Not only does Ray not decide who he wants to take on his solo date, I have to sit with girls I can't even stand. Go. The house is already divided into two groups, the three friends on this side and the three friends on that side. It's like a six-course meal. Ooh. So let's get it popping. Um, please, Miss Shura? What's the scallop? What's the scallop? <laughs> Miss Shura. It's seafood. Miss, Miss. Miss 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 Yo, can we get some pineapple kamikazes, Miss Yes, yes. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Miss Shura. I got it down. Miss Shura. Miss Shura. Miss Shura. Oh, good night. Cheers. Good night. Cheers. 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 Damn. I've never been arrested. I never faked an orgasm. <laughs> Damn. 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 I already did. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to ask one. I'm just so sick of cocktail just because she has a big mouth and she's just talking about everybody. Finally, the tables have turned. Now it's your turn. Has anybody been on another <laughs> reality TV show? Nope, not at all. Never. Never? Okay. Wow, she's lying. <laughs> I look over at Cashmere and I kind of nudge her under the table, like, ask her, go ahead, ask Cocktail. Has she been on a reality show? I kind of want to bring something up that I was informed about today. Um, oh my God, here we go. I'm about to open up a can of worms right now. Cocktail has been on um, Bad Girls Club or something like that. So why didn't you drink when I said it? Because uh, I don't care to share that with anyone. I'm not here to tell anyone what I've been and what I've done, what I'm doing. It's none of your guys' business. Like you're a gold digger looking yeah. for someone to save you. Hell yeah! So now we got Cashmere finally stepping it up to the plate. I said That's your character too. Show. Dishing dirt on cocktail. She's putting her on blast. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Show me something. What's your character? So sneaky, quiet little cashmere tries to call me out, and that's totally in my past. Like, seriously, I'm here for him, and I don't care to talk about it with any, any of you girls, because it's none of your guys' business. If you don't think the reality show that you did was wrong, then why are you acting so offended? Come on, you were a gold digger in that show. You're still a 
gold digger. But we're not attacking you. Like you don't have to. Right. Like, yeah. but, but we're just still, asking you. Right. It was just natural to have those questions. It was questions. just like, you know what I mean? are you bothered by someone who's on this show right now that has been on a couple shows? Do your motives click in your mind? Say, damn, they motives might be that they want to be famous. Like a lot of things run through my mind. It kind of made me wonder, you know. Was she plotting or was she planning or was this just a stepping stone for the next step in her career? Cocktail's mad and all her little girls are mad at me too now. So now Cocktail's in a little hot water with Ray right now. Mission accomplished. Wow. <laughs> all right, so let's get out of here. You ready? Yeah. I got a lot to think about. It's just, what are your motives? Like, aren't you here for the love of Ray J? I'll just talk to you real quick. I wanted to talk to you before these girls try to like eat me alive. Like everyone's trying to scoop some dirt on me. So we get back home from dinner, right? I feel that this is time to tell Ray that's in my past, that's the old me, and I'm here for him today. Unless you weren't on the show or watched the show, don't talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't sit there and talk about like you know about it and judge me. Cocktail's been on a reality show, and I'm thinking, I don't know. I gotta think about what's going on right now. I need some time. It's eliminations tomorrow. That's right. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty in this I want to talk to you, so come back out, Kay. I feel like I wanted to explain myself or maybe talk to him about the whole thing. Maybe he'll give me a second chance and not be so judgmental. I felt bombarded. It was just ugly to me, like unique, and then feisty. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cocktail was ganging up on me. Really stressing me out right now. What's the matter? My hair is like, hold on. And later, cocktail. I want all y'all to step out because it's real personal. What's up, ladies? Hi. Hi. Good morning. So I wake up the next morning and I finally made my decision on which girls won the challenge. Everything yesterday was beautiful. Everything was, was personal. I mean, it was hard for me to compare each one. With that being said, uh, unique. I felt like, you know, me and you in the room, the music, the connection was vibing. I felt like that was real cool. Um, feisty, you know, the sit-ups. <laughs> You know, we got a chance to talk a little bit, but I still want to spend a little more time with you. I still haven't, like, felt like I broke the ice with you yet. So I want to take y'all to one of my favorite spots in Hollywood by the poolside. I am so happy that this man realized that I was the best thing cooking. But I ain't forget about y'all either, because I told y'all everything was right on point. So I'm going to have little B come through, take y'all out to lunch, and then we'll meet back up later. Yes, I'll see y'all in a minute. Yay. Get sexy. Stop, guys. Two girls that I'm the coolest with are going on a date with Ray. I had to go out to lunch with these girls that I don't even like. There's tension before I even said anything, so now there's definitely tension. Now I'd be stuck with those girls all day. Oh, you Yes. <sighs> Yo, unique, feisty, let's do it. Welcome to the Roosevelt. If I were to pick one other girl to be there on the date with, I would prefer Feisty. This is my chance to really show Ray that she's a party girl, and I'm the girl he needs to be with. How you doing? I want to take these two beautiful girls out to the Roosevelt in Hollywood, one of my favorite spots. We're going to chill out poolside, have some drinks, you know, relax. It's a wonderful time? Yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> The Roosevelt Hotel is amazing. I've heard so much about it. I feel like a celebrity just being here. I don't see you with a d nobody in that house. I don't see you ever even wanting to choose anybody. But you? <laughs> or not even you either. <laughs> Wifey is right here. Like, this is all you need. You don't need the fun and games. When you down in Miami, he can hit you up. Y'all can party, have drinks together. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Ain't that? that I mean, I don't want to talk for you, but I'm kind of like, 
You're supposed to be my friend, and you're saying this right in front of me? No, it's not how I feel. So I you, feel just like... want, you want me to just call you and hit it when I come to Miami? <laughs> no, I'm not hit it. On the day, Unique is acting like she's a lot better than me. She's just making me seem like a party girl. What do you think, Ryan? Would you prefer a woman who is like, comes in more on the conservative side and then gradually opens up and can get wild? Would, or a girl who's like, oh, take me now. gonna be delicious. Hopefully not like last night. night. So we arrive at Citizen Smith and this lunch is gonna be off chain. Right. Toast, happiness, and success. So now it's my turn and I'm gonna use this lunch date to my advantage. This is kind of interesting because we don't usually get a chance to really um, spend any time with you, Cashmere. Get to know you a little bit. Yeah. I feel like the tension is rising right now, and I definitely feel like something's about to happen. It's very obvious that there's static in this house. What's going on? Last night, um, the girls had confronted me because of a situation that I had been on a reality show prior to this, something that I chose not to talk about to them, so when I was asked by one of them, I denied it. So they were like, well, you lied, and you were on this and that, and then I felt bombarded, and it was almost like I felt like I got attacked, but I didn't when, come at you like that, though. Regardless, I just felt like last night you were just like, Completely you were da, 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 coming at me like that. And it was just ugly to me. Like, it was just, you know, and then like unique. And then Feisty were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just yeah, like, it was like, what? And then, what happened? And then we were on this side of the table. Us dudes on this side of the table. Yeah. And they were on the other side of the table. And mm -hmm. they were just all oh, like, cocktail. So they're like calling me out in front of little B right now. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so irritated. Maybe when you're around the group of girls that you're around, that it's like... It just feels like follow the leader. See, yeah. I think and exactly. Unique is the leader. It's almost as if when Unique's around, you feel like you got to be like, oh, well, I'm not even cool with you, you know? Because, yeah. yeah, you know... Yeah, it really... It, it kind of like... It feels even like that. Feisty. Even if that's not how it is, it feels like that to us. Yeah. Unique is putting some Magneto mind melt on Kashmir and her evil powers are too much for her little brain. Like, yeah, it's still a competition, and that's you're that's both that's still that's trying to be with the same person, so how does that work? All three girls are ganging up on me right now. I'm just anxious, I just want to leave. I just don't know how to deal with it right now. Kashmir, you don't want necessarily yeah, like unique that. to cover up your shine. Kashmir, during lunch, she doesn't say anything, she doesn't talk, she's not even there, she's very transparent, and it's just really pathetic and sad. Kashmir, things have got heated. Do you feel like you can handle this now that you've been at the house for some time? For what it is, living with 13 girls, having these emotions, I think I feel like, you know, I, I wanna win a competition. That's just how I am. It's all a competition. Kashmir, mm -hmm. he needs to know who you are. I'm not saying he doesn't, right. but like, you guys are in the house more. These girls are really stressing me out right now, and it's just getting to be to the point where it's just too much for me to handle. Let's get out of here, y'all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Get in. What if I drown? No, get in. I can't swim worth a damn. <laughs> Feisty hops in the pool first. Unique is more reserved, and she doesn't like, you know, being a bathing suit. So I was, I was talking to you the other day, yeah. and then I cut you off when you was talking about being serious. Sorry, I look good in a bikini. Cause I was like, you a party you animal. Me? I was like, no. No, I do like to party. A... I'm serious when I have, when I have to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's a cute girl, man. There's a chemistry there between Feisty and myself. got the wild elements that I like. She has the, the wholesome elements. No, I'm not about to let Feisty snuggle up with my man in the pool. It's not gonna happen. She went, eat you. Look at her face. Can you pull me? Hey, okay, baby, right. Pull me. <laughs> you gonna make me drown? So I'm seeing Unique and Ray kissing by the pool, and I'm just feeling 
weird because I'm just sitting there by myself and I don't know, I'm kind of jealous. Spice, you can just stay right there and look pretty. So my condescending tone is no joke. I am being for real. I totally know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> well, you know, she kind of thick a little bit. I like thick women sometimes because, you know, they got stuff to just grab on, you know what I'm saying? Jiggle a little bit. You must be doing the wrong thing. I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm really unsure how I'm feeling right now. Just so many things are stressing me out. The girls are mad dogging me, the cattiness, the I don't know where I stand with Ray. There's so much backstabbing in the house. All of this is taking a big toll on me, and I really need to let Ray know how I feel. What's the matter? Like you saying that, I can't sleep. Hold on. It's hard for me to like open up to you because of where I'm at in the situation that I'm in, you know? Uh -huh. I'm not really being me. What situation are you Just in? Just here. I'm feeling all these emotions about being in the house. I'm just so confused right now, and I'm just letting it all pour out. No other guy calls me shy but you. And I'm like, I wonder why that is, and I thought about it, and I'm like, it has to be because I'm here in this situation. It's hard for me to open up to you. That's with any guy, but on, in this situation, it's even harder for me to like really show you exactly who I am, because you're living with girls and- Is it too much? A little bit. You though. can't hang in there? No, I can. But... Come here. I like this girl, but she's holding back. I mean, I got your picture by my bed. You really doing good. I don't know. Yes, you are. You I'm not being myself, so I'm not. But you were being yourself yesterday. But I was still shy and nervous a little bit. But you still did it, though. And you I had to. <laughs> you came with it. Like, if you like, I don't like the situation, I don't like you, I don't no, like No, I don't going. like you, I don't like the situation, but I can't still, be me. You know I'm just I mean? saying, whatever it is, just keep it 100. Like, I so, Like, I just want to know. And I'm going to do everything I can to make you feel better if it's not like that. But I just wanted to talk to you. You know, but Cashmere really stepped it up to the plate when she called Cocktail out. But when it got heated, <laughs> it seemed like she started backing away. I don't want her in the house unless she's all the way in. Well, can you at least think about it? I'm like, yeah. So, that was it. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it and let him know. I mean, it's kind of like whatever happens, happens. I don't think you'll have any kind of fun in the damn man. Get <laughs> some tissue. There's a lot for me to think about before eliminations tonight, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Even though Cashmere is my girl, if Cashmere leaves tonight, she's one less girl I have to deal with, and that works in my part. We'll see. I am actually really confident. I don't think I'm going home tonight. At this point, I really want to stay in the house and get to know Ray. But on the other hand, it's the competition. Girls are catty. So I'm really torn on exactly what I'm going to do. I'm really nervous because I haven't gotten a chance to talk to Ray in regards to me being on a reality show. I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm going home tonight. Up, ladies. I want to do it a little bit different this time. So unique. Come here. Look, ladies, I want all y'all to step out because it's real personal. That's cool. All right, cool. Ray calls Unique's name first, and he tells all of us to leave the room. So it's crazy right now. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I would definitely like to see Unique go home tonight because then, of course, I'm nothing to worry about. I'm here to stay. She should go home. I'm nervous right now because I'm not sure it's, if it's the best thing that he called my name first or is it a bad thing. 
coming up next? Living in a house full of women and fighting over one man. It's just, it gets hard. If you don't want to be here, I would rather you go home. What's up, ladies? Hey. I want to do it a little bit different this time. I want to hear from each and every one of you. So unique, come here. Look, ladies, I want all y'all to step out, and then I'm gonna just bring each one of y'all back out. All right, cool. Tell me what you feel like. It gets hard living in a house full of women, but every time me and you are together, we have a great time. It's chemistry there. All right, I just want to know one thing. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Of course I am. Bless you. You know what? Go get danger. Yeah, we'll bring her in. I don't really care who stays, who's going, because I know I got my glass, and that's all I care about. Danger. When Unique gets the first glass, I'm really pissed because I know Ray can't see how evil she is because she hides it very well. What's up, Danger? How you doing? I'm doing good. So tell me, what can we do now to bring us closer to where we need to be? I feel pretty solid right now with you. You hear from me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, take your glass. Bring Chardonnay out here with me. Okay. Right. Chardonnay. Yeah, boy. So the girls are getting called one by one, and I'm sitting here thinking, I don't know what to do. Chardonnay. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? I'm good. What's your honest feelings on how you feel we can make it happen together? I feel like everything that you need is here with me, like the, the friend, the homie, the lover. So I just want to know one more thing. Are you here for the lover, Ray J? Yes, I am. Because I'm here for you, too. Thank you, baby. <laughs> can you bring a feisty out here? OK. All right. Now I'm pretty nervous because I'm like, uh, I've never really felt this much pressure, ever. Feisty, how you feeling? I feel good. I know we've been clicking like this whole day was bomb. Like, we had a good day. <laughs> so I just want to know, are you here for the love of Ray J? Of course. All right, baby, give me a hug. Yo, go get cocktail from me, please. Okay. Thank you. Cocktail. I'm worried because I could see why me being on a reality show prior to being here for Ray would affect the way Ray feels about why I'm really here. What's up, Cocktail? How are you? How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? Yeah. I mean, you should be nervous. You was on another reality show and you didn't tell me. All right, I just want to know one thing. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Always. Cocktail should have told me she was on another show. But at the same time, I got a pass too. I don't judge people off their past. Like, okay, I've been on TV too. Maybe she might understand my life a little easier. Bring out Cashmere for me, please. Okay. All right. Cashmere. And the last one, I'm like, oh my God, here we go. It's my turn. Hi. I'm really nervous and I'm just really don't know exactly what words are going to come out of my mouth. <sighs> so, what do you think? Ah, <sighs> man. I have thought about it, um, prayed about it, everything. What did God tell you? That. Like if I'm you want to be here, I want you to be here. I know. That's why I still got that glass there. But if you really don't want to be here, then I don't want you to be here either. The glass was there for her if she wanted to pick it up and take it. I wasn't going to give it to her. All right, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The choice is yours. I don't know what to do. The choice is yours. I wanted her to make a choice and see if she's really here for the right reasons. And if she is, then there should be no stopping her really like you, but I would really, really care about you more if you don't want to be here. And I would rather you go home. I want to go home.
she didn't take the glass. She couldn't hang. The pressure got too tense. Mm -hmm. I hope you find what you're looking for. Ooh. I know you're going to make her really happy. I know you are. I know you're going to make somebody happy, too. I may regret this later. I'm not sure. But I do feel overwhelmed. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get my heart broken. <laughs> I wasn't sad to see her go. I was sad that she quit. She gave up on me. So I gave up on her. saying or doing to these girls, but everyone that clings to Unique goes home. Feisty better look out. She better be careful. I felt like we all had a good day. I felt like it was so smooth, but she felt like something was gonna happen. Don't quit. Don't give up, because it's twisting turns with all this you know what I mean? Y'all here for the love of Ray J? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on For the Love of Ray J. This is the Norwood Kids Foundation first annual pancake break. We're gonna have to cook pancakes and raise money. Whipped cream on them. Oh, whoops. What are you doing? Oh, oh, the people oh, are already right. here. It's total chaos in the kitchen right now. I don't think these girls are gonna be able to raise a dime. Ow! Work them little cars, girl. I know this is my chance to show Ray that she's a party girl. And I'm the girl who needs to be with. Oh, spicy! I just want to keep it real. I don't like you at all. I've been on to Unique since day one. I don't respect her. She's judgmental. She has evil intentions. And she deserves to go home. I don't like you. Never have liked you. Me and they arguing. Ain't nobody I'm there. talking to you. That's fine. This is going to get really no, ugly. Bitch, no, don't no, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just looking so sexy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hi. <laughs> We're like boxy breeze. I'll be like, like, come on. That's my passion. I would have got him an outfit with just a tie with no shirt. <laughs> some tidy whities. Tidy whities and a bow tie. And some baby oil. Yeah. Well, <laughs> make him a Chippendale dancer. Hmm.